happy Sunday, y'all. I am just making this up as I go, so we will see if it's good or not. I'm going to do kind of like a beef chili cornbread pie looking thing. Um, I got this inspiration from Kristen's step. I will have her, that recipe video linked down below for you guys, the one that she made. I'm kind of going by that. Like I said, I got my inspiration from that. But I'm just kind of doing my own thing. I'm not following a recipe. But hers looked just so good. So I will have it linked down below. I've got a pound and a half of hamburger meat here. Half of an onion. Seasoning it up with some 1836 beef rub. And then I'm just going to cook, cook that up. And then when it's almost ready to drain, I'm going to add in some minced garlic. And then we'll drain it. And then we'll put it back in here. I'm going to... Put, this is going to be from stovetop to oven. That's the best part about these pans is that it can start on the stovetop and finish in the oven. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be one of those amazing one pot wonders. Our hamburger meat is cooking up and I've pulled a couple things out of the stock room, which like I've said before, I'll just replenish, but I'm going to add in some chili hot beans. I'm going to do some chili ready tomatoes. I honestly might only do like a half a can. If you've been here a while, you know we're not a huge fan of tomatoes. So I may do half a can and then I'll save the other half for another recipe or I can freeze them. And then I got two things of tomato sauce, which I don't know how much I'm gonna need. And then I pulled these buttermilk cornbread mixes out of the um, stock room also to put these on top. I wish I had a can of green chilies because if you take this, add a can of green chilies or even a can of like diced jalapenos and add some cheese and mix it together and put it on top. It is so good, but I don't have either. I don't have any jalapenos or green chilies. So I'm just going to do cheese mixed in and it will be so good. So that's going to kind of, this is my inspiration about how I'm doing this at home. Once I drained the meat, I started adding in the rest of the ingredients. I added in the chili beans. I added in half of the can of the chili ready tomatoes, but you can use the whole can if you like a lot of tomatoes. some chili powder some kinder's red garlic that is becoming one of our favorite seasonings and then I'm going to add in some paprika some Worcestershire One a little can of tomato sauce.
some red pepper jelly for some sweet heat. And then for the cornbread, I ended up only using one of those packs of cornbread and I just followed directions on the back of the bag. Also added in a good handful of cheese. And then I'm just pouring that directly over the top. At first, I thought maybe it wouldn't be enough, but once it baked up, it was perfect. So I'm glad I only did one bag of cornbread. So I just baked this at 375 for about 20, 25 minutes. And y'all, this was really, really good. It was nice and hearty. The chili that I made was very flavorful. We will definitely be making this again in the winter time. My fried rice and my sesame chicken, I shared in my crock pot video on Wednesday. So I will have that linked down below. Next up is one of our crock pot favorites and it is French onion burgers. This was also in Wednesday's video, so I will have that linked down below also. For the chicken marinade, I decided to use this slow cooker seasoning packet, the Chipotle chicken, and y'all, I loved it. I've got to find some more of those because it was so good. So I just took the chicken, cut it thin where it's thinner pieces, and then I took and put some olive oil in there and then put that seasoning in there and just let it sit for a few hours. And then I made the box of the Spanish rice and then I made, just did a can of black beans and I just seasoned it up. y'all this dinner was absolutely amazing we served it with some extra queso some soft shell tortillas chips and salsa i highly recommend that chicken flavoring that i did i know it's for technically a crock pot recipe but i will definitely be looking for it and using it again as a marinade because that chicken was bomb Well, Luke went to the store <laughs> and he came home with some shoulder. Even though we have a massive pack of it in the freezer, he said he wanted it now. Sometimes he does that. Sometimes he'll go to the store and just pick something out and he'll be like, this sounds good. So we have got a big, well, decent size. I think there's like seven pieces here of shoulder. So um, he's getting the grill going. He will season that up. I'll share that in a little bit when he seasons it up. But to go with it, we're going to do some baked potatoes. I just washed four really, they're like medium sized potatoes, washed them really good. And then I put some, all, or some regular oil on them and I put some of this coarse salt on them. And then I'm just going to put these in the air fryer. They're really good in the air fryer. Just gonna add them in to my basket. It's dirty, y'all. I gotta wash it. But add it in here. And then we're just gonna cook them at 400. I'm gonna start them at 20 minutes and kind of check and see where we're at after 20 minutes. See how much more time it needs. Campfire steak seasoning.
The potatoes are almost done and the pork is almost done. So I've got a couple sauces out here for the shoulder. We've got the moonshine mopping. I got out some of the sweet bourbon glaze, which may sound weird, but I kind of want to try it because it's a little sweet heat. So I think it might be good. And then there's a little bit of barbecue left. And then got some cheese, some bacon, salt, pepper, butter, and I like ranch on my baked potato. Honestly, I like ranch and A1, but we're out of A1, so ranch will have to do. But I like ranch on my potato, and so we got all that for those. The potatoes are almost done. They were in there about 35 minutes, so they're about done, and then we can eat. Last but not least, we had lasagna this week. This was so good. So I have no recipe for this. I've always just made it the same over the years. I use one container of ricotta and one container of cottage cheese. I add in some mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. I just mix all that together for my cheese mixture. And then for my meat mixture, I had already cooked up a pound and a half of ground beef, and I just added some spaghetti sauce to that and then I'm cooking my noodles up on the side and I just assemble I do a little bit of plain sauce at the bottom so that way the noodles don't burn and I um, just keep layering it up until it is, all of my ingredients are gone this was so good I cooked this at 375 for 45 minutes and y'all it was delicious served it with some homemade garlic bread well, we had a couple frozen pieces and some homemade, and this was an amazing way to end a week of meals. And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious weeknight meals. I hope it inspires you to cook more for your family at home. Try something new. You might find a new family favorite. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.